it's not a Yeezy. This year has been packed with Jordan 1 releases. Lost and Found was released in late November 2022, but the impact it had on the sneaker culture is felt still to this day, and the minor restocks makes me feel like they actually dropped this year. Nevertheless, it's an extremely exciting time for a Jordan 1 collector because so far, Nike has dropped gems like Washed Black, Vibrations of Nija, Lucky Greens, Jordan 1 Lowe's Black Toe, Travis Scott Lowe's Olive, Washed Pink, 85 Black and White, True Blues, a bunch of Union Highs and Lows, and a couple of more that are actually available for retail. That's simply not possible. Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not, you stupid? While it definitely does benefit the average sneaker collector, unfortunately, it falls under the brick category amongst the resellers. This is both a good and a bad thing depending on how you look at it. Nike flooding the market makes it easier to acquire exclusive sneakers for personal use. However, it's detrimental to resellers who rely on high demand and limited supply to profit from their investment just to be clear though i am not a reseller although i prefer my collection growing over the years and adding to my total net worth although ever since i started this channel i will be forced to sell huge chunks of my collection simply because i'm running out of space and I do not want my wifey to leave me. Jordan 1 UNC toe is a beast. Blue, black, and white, simple and extremely easy to wear. White leather underlays and black overlays that carry on the Jordan 1 tradition while being elevated with classic UNC blue, which makes this simple sneaker pop in a subtle way. Spoiler alert, the powder blue covers the entire toe box, hence the name UNC toe. Duh. What the hell is wrong with you? And then you got the beautiful legendary wings, the Nike air label at the top of the thong, and of course the Nike swoosh blending in perfectly. My favorite part has to be the outsole. Just look at that powder blue glaring at you. Smoldering intensity. The hell are you doing? Ugh. Two set of shoelaces. I prefer the extra blue one, so I'm probably gonna swap out both of them. According to Nike, it's made out of premium materials only, but we all know Nike sliced that budget in half ever since the shattered backboards. So it's not premium leather as marketed, but it's still good enough. Fits true to size, a lot more comfortable than they look, and they come in a beautiful blue box. Here's the box. Here's the box. The UNC powder blue represents, of course, Carolina Tar Heels uniform. Back when Michael Jordan was playing basketball for the University of North Carolina, UNC. Duh. Stop it. Get some help. It feels good to review a Jordan one again after all those Yeezys. Like, I don't care if the hype is not there. This is a timeless sneaker, a beautiful sneaker. Comment down below what you think. You think the price is gonna skyrocket on these after a while, or is it a dud? I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe. Good karma is coming your way if you hit that thumbs up. Little lady! Turn on all notifications. Thanks for watching the entire video, and I will see you next week.
jag tog en strejk Fuck rap in real life Min syster ser nu upp till mig Det är upp till mig Att se vad ödet vill Bästa dagen här om dagen är hon så jag var förebild 